Hello, welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story after years of back and forth negotiations and a seemingly stalled project, Northport may finally be getting a hospital. Manatee Healthcare System shocking commissioners when they implied they'd like to work to build a hospital with the city. ABC 7's Christopher Bradley has more. Good evening. Northport Mayor Linda Yates called it one of the most promising and critical steps to date in bringing a hospital to a fast-growing city that doesn't have one. In Thursday night's commission meeting, Kevin Dialio, CEO of Manatee Healthcare Systems, took the podium. Commissioners didn't expect this. If you're interested and you want to move forward with a hospital, we'd be willing to talk to you. Commissioner Vanessa Carasone said she was shocked. It was almost as if it was a um, Christmas. Dialio's presentation turned out to be a pitch to build a 120-bed hospital in Northport, something the city has been trying to do since the early 2000s. You know, we have a long history of seeking a hospital in this city. Never did I imagine they were going to ask for the support for a certificate of need right there on the stop spot. I had no idea. It's the certificate of need, or CON, that's the most critical part. It's basically an appeal to the Agency for Healthcare Administration asking for permission to build a hospital. Northport has been declined when they've asked in the past. I believe that that was not a well thought out process, if you ask me, because I was involved in the original CON. But now, Commissioner Carison believes Northport may be in a better spot because of the new Braves Spring Training Stadium set to be built and other commissioners were just as thrilled. I have to give you props. You're the first hospital to come to us and say that you want to work with us. Obviously, one of the big questions here is when would this hospital be built? Well, nobody quite has an answer for that yet because it will be such a long and arduous process between now and any groundbreakings. Christopher Brantley, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Manatee County is considering an incentives package for a company promising 34 jobs in the area over the next five years. That company's name, plans, and other details will all remain confidential until commissioners vote on the deal on Monday, codenamed Project LEAF. The company plans to expand headquarters somewhere in the county's new southwest district, and according to county documents, the salaries will be at least twice the county average. The Economic Development Office says Project LEAF is also outside the usual six-target industry sector. It is a headquarters, but it's not exactly the type of industry that um, the EDC um, works with, although I'm sure they would approve. This project's funding will not be affected by the future of Enterprise Florida in the state, although officials say that will make it harder to attract out-of-state companies to the Sun Coast. A request to dismiss negligence charges against the Punta Gorda police chief is now in the hands of a judge. Attorneys representing Police Chief Tom Lewis filing a motion to throw out a culpable negligence charge in the fatal shooting of a woman during a Citizens Training Academy. Mary Knowlton was shot by Officer Lee Cole during a role-playing demonstration last August. Lewis's attorneys were in court today arguing the charge should be dismissed. What do you what sufficient safety protocol are do you are you alleging that you think that proves that he went into that thinking death is likely and he doesn't care? No decision was made at today's hearing. A judge is expected to rule on this motion next week. Chief Lewis remains on administrative leave. And now for a check on our really nice forecast. It's so nice that we're having this heading into the weekend. Here's Bob. Yeah, drier conditions, cooler weather too. The front itself now down well to our south, continuing to move away from uh, the west coast of Florida. Behind it, much cooler and drier air is slipping in. Very windy day today, though. Uh, winds are very strong behind this front, and we'll stay that way through tonight and tomorrow. Uh, still a bit breezy, not quite as windy, but still there'll be uh, quite a bit of wind around. So this uh, high surf advisory will stay with us right on through a midday tomorrow. So it should expire at noon as the winds will start to let up a little bit. So that high surf advisory is set to expire at noon tomorrow. Uh, the small craft advisory uh, in effect until 10 o'clock in the morning. It may be uh, relaxed by then, but seas are still going to be up a little bit throughout the day on Saturday. Sunday appears to be the better boating day or going out there on the waters uh, should not be as bad. 74 right now. The dew point's 51. The humidity, that's nice. 45%. It'll actually make it feel pretty cool out there once the sun sets and that wind stays strong out of the west. So keep that in mind if you're heading outdoors with a low dew point temperature. 
It always makes it feel a little bit chillier out there when the winds are up anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour. Those winds will stay out of the west and northwest uh, throughout the uh, evening and into the early morning hours. So a bit breezy tonight. We'll have the complete details on the weekend weather coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. People who commit acts of terrorism in Florida will likely face new criminal charges. The House and Senate passing a bill that would create five new offenses for those who work with terrorist groups. Acts of terrorism themselves would be a new first-degree felony offense under state law. Another new offense would make it first-degree felony to use military-type training provided by a terrorist organization, a foreign terrorist organization, to harm someone or disrupt critical infrastructure. Another would make it a first-degree felony felony to provide resources to terrorist groups. Florida legislators are wrapping up their annual session with a lot of work left to do. Legislators must act on dozens of bills today or the legislation will be lost for another year. Some bills awaiting final action include a tax cut package, medical marijuana, and a measure that would set aside more than $1 million to build two memorials for boys who died at the Dozier School for Boys. The annual session lasts 60 days but has been extended to finalize the new state budget. Legislators finished work on the $82 billion budget today, and they are on track to vote on it on Monday. The state Senate backing off an amendment that would have given judges more leeway in sentencing drug dealers convicted of trafficking fentanyl. The proposed amendment was tied to a bill imposing tough criminal penalties on those selling the synthetic drug, often combined with heroin. The House had already passed its version of the measure, which requires minimum mandatory sentences for people convicted of possessing four or more grams of fentanyl. The legislation now heads to Governor Rick Scott for approval. A Bradenton man is behind bars tonight facing drug charges following a special investigation by the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Detectives searched 42-year-old Derek Randall's home on 20th Street West in Bradenton. They found a small bag of cocaine as well as four ounces of heroin, which tested positive for fentanyl. Randall was home during the investigation and was taken into custody. He has 22 prior felony convictions for various crimes. Still to come tonight on your Suncoast News. A new development in the works in downtown Sarasota causing concerns over how it could be impacting the environment, why the city is now getting involved. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. When you've been in banking for a long time, it's easy to forget what it was like in the beginning. It took a lot of work and dedication for seven teachers to start our credit union and create a foundation that we continue to build on today. At Achieva, we never lose sight of the values that have defined us for over 75 years. We know you need mobile banking and lightning fast solutions, but sometimes you might just need a helping hand. Any bank can make a transaction, but it takes a little more to make a difference. And that's good to know. Achieva, banking for good. The official salon of ABC7. Everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call AirNow today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. 
We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. A downtown Sarasota development is under attack. Residents say the developer of the DeSota Luxury Apartment Homes is polluting the surrounding area. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has more. On 2nd Street in downtown Sarasota, it's not uncommon to see white stuff falling from the sky. But it's not snow, it's styrofoam, and residents aren't happy. I'm concerned about it breathing it in and what harm that could be, d be doing in the long term. Sean O'Neill is among those concerned about the influx of polystyrene, a product most referred to as styrofoam. It is currently being used in the construction of the DeSoto luxury apartment homes on 2nd Street. Here you see it lining the outer walls. It's a mess. I mean, if you just look around you and when you're down here in this part, it's just coming down from all over the place. O'Neill isn't exaggerating. A short walk downtown, you see styrofoam particles blowing in the wind. It's on people in the street, even in the gutters and drains. So ABC7 reached out to one of the contractors working on the project. And while they admit to causing the problem, they say efforts are being made to prevent it. We have a lot of netting on this building and the netting will stop most of it. But Joe Otto, the owner of one of the companies contracted for the project, says they also have crews cleaning the streets and picking up excess styrofoam. And he adds what's left is not toxic. Expanded polystyrene that we use called EPS foam absolutely has no uh, chemical. According to OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, styrofoam is classified as a non-toxic particle and does break down. Styrofoam is biodegradable eventually. In other words, it's not something that lasts forever. ABC7 checked. Turns out styrofoam is biodegradable. But according to science.com, it takes 500 years to do so. There's been a lot of talk about plastic pollution in our waterways. They're completely aware of where it's going and what it's doing. But they just don't seem to have the will to want to, to contain their mess. The city of Sarasota also received some complaints about the issue. They said they looked into the matter and it threatened to issue a stop work order if the developers don't clean it up. But that was several weeks ago. Bo Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Bo Beth. Well, the weekend is here and mm -hmm. I think you're going to like the forecast. I think so too. All Bob the details. Has it. Yeah. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our finish upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Attention blood clot filter patients. Surgically implanted blood clot filters are potentially life-threatening. Some filters are prone to breaking, resulting in pieces of the filter moving through the body and causing internal bleeding. If you had surgery to implant a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to a cash award, even if you haven't suffered side effects yet. Call the Gold Shield Group now, 888-747-5291, to see if you qualify for a cash award, 888-747-5291. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now, for every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. 
I am goodwill, yeah, yeah. Florida Studio Theater presents Older Than Dirt, now playing in the Court Cabaret. Come celebrate the ups and downs of getting older. From joints popping to mirrors mocking, this show combines some of the funniest songs ever written for a witty and heartfelt 360 degree view of aging. Don't miss what critics are calling hilarious, incredibly creative, that has many laugh out loud moments. Older Than Dirt is now playing. Tickets can be purchased by calling 941-366-9000 or by visiting floridastudiotheater.org. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. So, Bob, you had a nice day, but a windy day on the golf course. Yeah, yeah and I must say, it, it was, it's actually to get uh, Manatee High School for a lacrosse program oh, there, nice. and they're kind of working fundraisers in, and uh, the, a lot of folks showed up, too, and it was wow. a great time. Windy, mm -hmm. I must say, it was the longest drive I've ever witnessed, actually, playing with a group. Really? With the 150-yard drive. Wow. Yeah, Joe Hoagland. He's, he's a principal, you know, go figure, wow. it's a principal. Uh, I think we, we ended up birdieing the hole, but who, who knows. But high surf advisory in effect now, uh, rip currents are in effect, and again, that's going to be with us through midday tomorrow, so keep that in mind. If you're going to be swimming out in the water, the water temperature is still pretty nice, uh, make sure it's near a lifeguard. So if you ever get caught in a rip current, it's dangerous. Yeah, rip currents kill more people each year in the state of Florida than lightning does. So if you get caught in one, swim parallel to the coast. Uh, yell and scream as loud as you can, and, and then uh, try to get out of it. Swim parallel uh, to the coast, and once it's uh, out or you're out of it, swim back to the coast. But it can be very trying, and that's the reason why there's so many deaths. You can see this line of showers here. We have another weak frontal system that's going to move through. We're going to bring us a brief a shower or two possibly this evening in about uh, an hour and a half, two hours from now. And there's other ones out there to the north. We're not expecting any significant rainfall. We didn't see much this morning, uh, although uh, the uh, rainfall amounts were impressive near Parish And some isolated areas got a little bit more than others. But notice not the whole widespread rain that we were uh, hoping for. It didn't happen. But uh, right there in Bradenton, downtown Bradenton, getting quite a bit, up to uh, over a half inch of rainfall. There are estimates from the Doppler radar site over the past uh, 24 hours. Well, the area of low pressure continues to spin, and this low pressure area is just drawing all this colder air down from the north behind it with that counterclockwise swirl around that area of low pressure, driving that front further off to the east and keeping us on the milder side for the weekend. 74 right now, the humidity 45%. That is low. Winds are out of the west now at 16. The pressure 29.82 inches. This looks great. We have to remember that we are still in that High fire danger when you have low humidity and strong winds, that's uh, not very good for fires. They spread rapidly in that situation. So over the weekend, keep that in mind. The burn ban is in effect for the Sun Coast in Sarasota, Manatee County. 79 degrees right now. That was the high today, and that's uh, earlier today. And the temperatures fell throughout the afternoon on uh, the record high, 92, set back in 2002. Well, the forecast tomorrow. Looks like uh, more February as opposed to May, so enjoy it because this is not going to happen again for some time uh, as a result of the North Atlantic Oscillation, which is in effect right now just drawing all that colder air down from up north. Mid-70s, the expected highs tomorrow. And then for uh, lows uh, tonight, generally in the low 60s to mid-60s, and then we'll see that uh, high temperature tomorrow, mid-70s for the most part. And then lows on Sunday morning. We'll even see some upper 50s just off the water. The um, beaches will see a low right around 63 degrees. And it'll start to warm up a little bit on Sunday, but Sunday looks great too. We're expecting highs again into the uh, low 80s uh, on uh, Sunday, into the mid to upper 80s on Monday. Well, the RPM forecast model showing a series of little weak frontal systems or disturbances, if you will, around the, the area of low pressure continuing to move in. So that will just reinforce our cool temperatures uh, right through Saturday, Sunday, and then a Monday morning even cool, but then we'll start to warm up by Monday afternoon. For boaters, it shakes out like this. Small craft advisory is in effect uh, for the Sun Coast. We are anticipating uh, the winds and waves to settle down on Sunday, so that'll be the better day, but five to seven foot seas up until about 10 a.m. subsided. That should say Saturday, by the way. Uh, UV index will be an eight. The water temperature now at 82 degrees, and the sunset will be at 806. Sunrise will be at 647, and the forecast for tonight calls for mostly fair skies. Breezy and cool weather, 64. And then tomorrow, look for a nice, gorgeous day. Upper 70s away from the water, mid 70s near it. Northwest winds 10 to 15 will make it feel a little bit cooler out there, so it should be very nice. And then breezy conditions still on Sunday, but not as windy. 82 for a high, and then a nice start Monday, warming up into the upper 80s all of next week. Back to you.
Gorgeous. Thank you, Bob. Still ahead on your Suncoast News tonight, a battle involving teachers and students at one local high school. Sounds bad, but it's all for a good cause. We'll have the story behind this unusual event coming up next. Tonight, President Trump claiming victory. Make no mistake, this is a repeal and a replace of Obamacare. But will the nail biter in the House pass the Senate? What it could mean for your coverage and how much you'll pay. This is where America turns. World News Tonight with David Muir. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. And services.com. A N D services. What Florida city is best known for space flight? Cape Carnival. Cape Carnival? Close enough. What condiment includes vinegar, molasses, and anchovies? Westchester sauce? Close enough. And now, a word from our sponsors. One off from the Florida Lottery. Now available for pick two, three, four, and five games. Miss by one on any or all numbers and still win. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Rose takes her volunteering for Tidewell Hospice very seriously, but she knows how to have fun too. And that's what she brings when we're invited to visit patients as part of Tidewell's pet therapy program. People love to see her. She really brightens their day. She makes people smile and in end of life care, a smile can be a wonderful gift. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Get ready to rumble. Students at Booker High School had the chance to wrestle some school staff members and even their teachers today. Yeah, the fun was all part of what the school called WrestleMania, a fundraiser put on by the school's new wrestling coach. Students and staff could challenge each other to a match in the gym in front of the entire school. Uh, it was really fun. It was fun to hear the, the kids reacting to whatever was happening on the mat. But really, it was really the funnest to expose our student body to wrestling and to the awesome sport that it is and, and all of the wonderful benefits that it has for kids. It was also really cool seeing our staff participate with our kids so we could do this event. There were seven matches in all. The proceeds from today's fundraiser will help the Booker High School wrestling team. <laughs> it is a unique fundraiser. I'll, I'll give like them that. I haven't yeah. seen that before. Yep. It's a, almost a cage match in there. Yeah, it was, it was pretty like good. It. The, the grappling coach, I'm sure, having a good time there right. as well. Uh, we're looking at a nice, cool, sunny weekend. Thanks for joining us. World News Tonight is next. This is an ABC7 editorial with Steve Sabato. Sea turtle nesting season begins in May. Recent population and mortality trends are promising, but not to be taken for granted. So today, notes on sea turtles and the things the public can do to help. All five species found in Florida are classified threatened or endangered. The most common are loggerheads, the green turtle, and leatherbacks. It's rare to see a Kemp's Ridley or the small hawksbill around here. 
Sea turtles are among the oldest species and have remained more or less unchanged for over 100 million years. Each summer, the females emerge from the water to dig their nests and deposit hundreds of eggs in the sand. Six to eight weeks later, from June to October, eggs hatch, and a few days after that, tiny two-inch turtles emerge, hopefully headed seaward, beginning a lonely singular journey that is one of nature's most inspirational examples of individual survival. Only one in a thousand will make it to adulthood. If you happen to see an adult or a hatchling on the beach, stay out of their way. Don't approach them or try to get up too close to take pictures, and for God's sake, don't try to touch them. Light causes a major disruption, so don't head out to the beach at night with a flashlight. Ditto for flash photography. Folks who live on the beach know this stuff, so don't be surprised if you see red lights in the area this time of year. The red lights don't distract the turtles. Many nests have been identified by conservation groups and will be taped off with do not disturb warnings. And if you do find a hatchling stranded on the road in a parking lot or headed in a direction other than the water, call Florida Fish and Wildlife on your cell phone. And finally, when your auto registration is due, you can always buy a conservation turtle license plate. That'll also help. I'm Steve Sabato, and we'd like to hear from you. The opinions expressed in this editorial do not necessarily reflect those of ABC7's owners or management. If you would like to comment, go to our website, www.mysuncoast.com, and click Community. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. There's a whole new way to bank at Achieva Credit Union with Achieva Checking Plus. Get new unique features like full ID theft protection and online shopping rewards. Plus, it's an interest-bearing account, so you have a little extra for what really matters. Achieva Checking Plus isn't just an account for your money, it's for your life, including cell phone insurance. And that's good to know. Discover the plus at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Everyone loves a bright and cheerful smile. Not everyone can find the dental care they need and can afford. Now there's a place nearby where anyone can receive professional quality dental care at an affordable cost. The LeCom School of Dental Medicine in Lakewood Ranch is now accepting patients. You will receive your care in comfortable, state-of-the-art treatment rooms. To schedule your appointment, please call the LeCom Dental Group Practices, 941-405-1600. We will be happy to see you smiling again. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now, for every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPB. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com.